Hello, hello, hello. Today is Monday, November 11, 2024. We're still doing problems that deal with nuclear energy. This is problem 216. What is the energy liberated in the following fusion reaction? Lithium-6 plus hydrogen-2 gives two nuclei of helium-4. The three here indicates the number of protons, otherwise it wouldn't be lithium. The one here indicates the number of protons, otherwise it wouldn't be hydrogen. And the two here indicates the number of protons in helium, otherwise it wouldn't be helium. The six is the sum of the number of protons and neutrons. Two is the number of protons plus neutrons. And the four is the number of protons plus neutrons. So hydrogen 2, which is also called deuterium, has one neutron in the nucleus. That's because of this 2. It always has one proton in the nucleus, otherwise it wouldn't be hydrogen. So this is, again, a classic example of the change of binding energy. If the binding energy increases, then there is mass loss, and then energy is released. And we have dealt with that in so many problems that there should not be any difficulty. Compare this with energy liberated in the process of fission of U-25. I think all our three previous problems dealt with the fission of uranium-235, so that should be a piece of cake. This is an interesting question, the third one. Can the following reaction take place? If yes or no, give the reasons for your answer. So beryllium has four protons in the nucleus, otherwise it wouldn't be Beryllium. And helium must have two protons in the nucleus, otherwise it wouldn't be helium. I'm very curious about how many of you did this problem right. If it is any less than, let us say, 12, I will stop doing any problems on nuclear physics. Because after the three problems that we have had in a row, 213, 214, 215, this should really be a piece of cake. And if you're not willing to do your own homework by looking at the previous solutions, then I will give up and I will stop all problems on nuclear physics. And we will go back to boring Newtonian mechanics.